welcome to Fast Call. This is the first in our uh, help guides where we're going to just talk about some of the basics of the Fast Call application. First thing I should say is that your Salesforce org will 100% look different than this because every Salesforce org is different and the specifics of your org's lay layout will be up to your Salesforce admin. So this is called, Salesforce calls this the utility bar. Sometimes we just say it's a footer. Our application is in the utility bar. Um, you may have many other applications here. You may have what Salesforce calls uh, lightning uh, components maybe here. Um, our application actually uses Salesforce Open CTI. CTI stands for Computer Telephone Integration. And Salesforce Open CTI is the official toolkit for uh, phone integration into Salesforce. Um, in the case of our application, it is native, which means the entire application runs in Salesforce. It means the application does not work outside of Salesforce. Um, so it is possible that you've used other phone applications in the past. Uh, for sure, they would be different. They may or may not have used Salesforce Open CTI, which would be here. Um, so once the application is open, I can click on any phone number on any Salesforce object and the call will start. In this case, that's my mobile phone. So I click on that and um, sure enough, my mobile phone rings. I answer it and I'm connected. You'll see that within the application, I have the ability to take some call notes. This is a subject and these will both show up on your Salesforce task record notes subject. I have my call results here. Um, chances are your org will be set up so the call results will be required to end the call. So I select the call result. I click end call. What will happen is the call will end and you do have the ability to take some more notes. I can take here more notes. So before this um, finishes up and then I say close task and the Salesforce task will be closed and you'll see that here in your recent call. So if I come in here and I look at these are my recent calls and or SMS, uh, if I look here, I'm going to see sort of the threaded conversation that I had with this record, which includes calls, SMS, voicemail. And if I click here, it's going to take me to, well, the Salesforce record that I just called. Um, and if I click here, it will take me to the call record that I created. So I'm going to minimize this so you can see I can now see my call record. So the call record will tell me the phone number that I dialed, that it was outbound, it was completed, the day and duration. Again, the specific layout um, for you is going to be different because that will be dependent upon your how your Salesforce admin set this up. And then here is the Salesforce task, which you should be familiar with. So a Salesforce task. So fast call will um, usually create a Salesforce task for every call. Your admin uh, does have the option to not create a Salesforce task, but generally speaking, we're going to create a Salesforce task for every call. Um, and if I come back here and see here again, this is the record. So the uh, Salesforce record then has the activity history, which are the standard Salesforce tasks. This is an interaction component, which again, your Salesforce admin may or may not add to the page layout, but they're going to see this interaction component. So this is a fast call interaction component. This is the Salesforce activity history, which is standard. Uh, these are calls, which, which is a custom object for fast call, which your admin may or may not add to the page layout, SMS. So, and the specific, again, the specific page layout will be up to your admin. But the application is easy to use. It's Salesforce Open CTI. It's here. Um, as you explore the application, you can see that there's um, some settings here which enable you to manage the lookup relationship between the call and the records. We made an outbound call to this record, so there's a lookup relationship created. Um, you can actually remove that lookup relationship. You can create you can edit the contact, which you could just as well do in Salesforce. So it's easy. You could create a new record if you needed to, but you sort of do that here. Um, this is my user status, which is important because it, it, it controls whether or not I am available to receive an inbound call. Um, you'll see that 
here, I can back arrow, and then there's a hamburger menu, my device, um, saw phone is typically the most common, that's a headset, but you may have an office phone, you may have something called a SIP phone, which is an, an office IP phone. So there are different devices here in this hamburger menu, um, some specific audio settings, which would be related to your headset, your outbound caller ID would be set here, and there's your different options for outbound caller ID, which your admin is gonna help you set up. Um, some call recording settings, uh, some helpful diagnose, like diagnostics, uh, which helps you test your internet connection, um, if that's important, the ability to open up a case, um, all set up here. So you'll see that in your hamburger menu. So you've got the hamburger menu here, so there's some threaded conversation here. Uh, see a keypad, ba-boom, over there. Uh, what else? Uh, this uh, will show you all the other fast call users in your org and allow you to call them uh, or leave them a voicemail in this case and tells me their status. So in this case, I see that there's another user who's available. I can call him. Uh, here's a user that's not available. I can leave a voicemail. Another user um, that is available, I can call. We call that the internal dialer. Uh, so you see that here. That was the keypad. Uh, call mode, SMS mode. If I'm in SMS mode and I click, it's going to label me to send an SMS. Hello. Uh, and if I was in call mode or I call here, uh, it enables me to um, to call. So if I come back over to call mode and I click here, it's going to start another call, which we did a second ago. And with that, I will end the video. Um, if you do have any questions, best first source is always your Salesforce admin. Ask your admin first. Um, and if your admin is not able to answer the question, uh, she will open up a support case with Fastcall and we will jump in and help.